What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Madden 23 video. Today I'm going to be breaking down how you can bomb cover three, cover four, and sprinkle in some man coverage beaters. If you enjoy the tips on this channel, go here and stay for a while. Drop a like on the video. Hit that red subscribe button. Turn your notifications on for more Madden 23 all things covered. Let's get into today's breakdown. All right, so right now we are on the practice field and I'm gonna be showing you guys a simple way to bomb any coverage in the game. But basically, we're gonna be going over cover three and cover four. Now, if you want a full man coverage beaten scheme, the link in the description has everything that you need. And the ebook is on sale for another 24 hours. Also, the Patreon link is down below. So first, we are going to come out in the Bunch X Nasty. This was a play that I was running last year. But we also use the Bunch Tight End. We use the Doubles Off Close, the Tight White Off, and the Doubles South. Okay? You also have a pretty decent gun bunch scheme all this will be broken down in the ebook so you want to get that it's upgraded at least two times every single week and right now for the next 24 hours it is on sale so the first play we're going to come out in is the pa post dig okay and we're going to go against a random cover three so it don't matter as long as you have that safety dropping down it is going to work. So if we go to cover three and we do random cover three, okay? So you're going to make sure that you have time in the pocket. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go here, you're going to streak RB, and then you can motion this guy out, put him into a comeback route. Streak RB. So go to RB and then push up on the left stick, go to X and then push left trigger or L2, okay? Now, whenever you motion somebody in this formation, you can make maximum adjustments okay so when you motion him now i can block him i can block the tight end i can put the tight end on a drag i can put the tight end on a flat a out anything a zig all that okay so the running back is blocking to the left pay attention to the running back so since he's blocking to the left i'm gonna slide to the right to make sure that they pick up this guy on the end in case he comes in okay so now we're gonna hike the ball if a lot of pressure is coming, we're going to dump it down to the tight end. So we're going to come right here. No extra pressure is coming. And once we see him cut, we're going to throw the ball right there over the top for a potential one play touchdown. Now, that was a bad throw. I couldn't step up in the pocket, but you seen it was available. We're going to go ahead and go like this. We're going to get some good pressure. And right there, once he crosses his face, that's when you're going to throw that nice pass lead for a one play touchdown. So the first thing you are watching is a safety either dropping or shuffling his feet. So what I do is I hike the ball and I look at the safeties. That's going to let me know what kind of coverage. Okay, so that guy came in in the loop, but he is coming to protect the middle of the field. Okay, so this streak is going to take the other route. He has to stay between both of these routes. And once he crosses his face, he can't react. It don't matter who the player is and you pass lead it to the outside. Okay, so... Boom, you're gonna see one of the safeties stay up in the box. We stay nice pocket, let them go across, and now you can pass lead it. You wanna set your meter to what's good to you. I have my meter on 14. That means I don't have to hold the ball as long when I am doing my placement, okay? So this is what I'm reading. Boom, I'm looking at the safeties. One drops into the box, that makes a smile on my face. I'm saying, okay, cover three is gonna be open. We have the streak. We have that route, and then you can see they are over the top. So you can hit this comeback right here. Then you also have the tight end that does an out route. They plan over the top. So he bumped him right there. Boom. That means that the tight end is wide open. Clean pocket because I didn't do the pass rush. Step up, and then once he crosses his face, pass lead it to the outside. Nobody can make a play on it except my wide receiver. All right, for cover four, it's no different, okay? So we're still going to be able to do the same thing. So you can streak him, bring him out. Now you can make the rest of your adjustments. Boom. Slide toward the tight end. Make sure the running back pops out the other way. 
And then we're gonna go here and it's gonna look like it's not open at first, but if you just wait until he get closer to the numbers, you can bomb it. So we're gonna come right here, boom, take a step up. And then right now he got picked up, but you can see he still eventually gets right there, okay? Now, if the streak gets wide open, if they make some kind of crazy adjustments on the back end, you can still dominate with that, okay? So here we go right here, and you can see they get caught up right there. So if that streak pops open and they make some kind of crazy adjustment on the backside, you can still throw that streak wide open over here. That's the good thing about freeform. But once he goes across, you can see this guy is stuck down. Okay, so two safeties in cover four. He has to play low. He gets caught over there and then they bump each other. Boom, they go right there, pass leader to the outside for the tutty, tutty, tutty. It's all about tutty, tutty, tutties over here. So we're gonna set that up one more time. So we're gonna streak, bring him. Once we move him, we can make all of our adjustments. We all set up. Okay, so they in the cover four out of uh, three, three, five. So we're gonna come, boom. Now we're gonna start stepping up. And once he goes across, we're gonna let him get all the way across his face for the tutty. Now, say somebody playing man coverage on you and they just spamming man coverage, man blitzes, and they just hard hit it. You know what I mean? It's them hard hit it people who learn a couple plays and they just spam it. And that's how they think that they are good. Let me help you out real quick. Okay? So if they spamming man coverage and they pressing you and you can see once your guy goes off the line of scrimmage, he can't get any kind of room, just move over here to the single back doubles south Rams offense full scheme in the link in the description i got y'all okay so all we do is streak x streak y or do anything you want with y okay so let's say they in man coverage we're gonna come right here they in this four three sam they're gonna press they're gonna try to shade underneath or they're gonna try to do some kind of bump and run okay so we're gonna go like this we're just gonna max protect and then we're gonna motion that guy in so once we motion that guy in right here watch the cornerback he's gonna pop out okay so we're gonna motion him in he's gonna pop out and then you can go ahead lob it over the top right there they want to play press they're gonna pay you celebrate on him okay you want to play press against the best ebook in madden 23 you're gonna pay dearly okay so if we look at this replay right here you might not want to do the play action but i bring him in and he pops out okay so once he pops out you send in all that pressure and look, we can pick and choose on who we want to throw it to. All right, so we got some hard hitted opponents. He's still pressing. He's still being aggressive, okay? We like, okay, so my guys couldn't even get off the line of scrimmage. A lot of y'all get mad about that. Y'all be like, damn, my dude couldn't get off the line of scrimmage. It's okay, bro. If your dude can't get off the line of scrimmage, just go here and fade X and then you can put this guy into a motion slant. Okay, so you have the running back underneath or you can pop the running back out the other way. Okay, so once we motion him, look at over number 80. Okay, make sure that you do a good pass lead. So we're going to motion him in a couple steps. He's going to move out. Once he moves out, you're going to click it. Boom. Going to lob that up right there. You need a good pass. He breaks a tackle and we're going to celebrate on him because you want to be aggressive and try to just blitz me, blitz me, blitz me, blitz me. Well, then I'm going to throw tutty, 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 tutty. You feel me? So make sure that you stay tuned to this channel. We have a full breakdown, four different formations where you're going to be able to just go crazy in Madden 23. Drop a thumbs up on the video. Hit that red subscribe button. Turn your notifications on. Get the ebooks available for another 24 hours. There will be two more updates on the ebook tomorrow on the defensive side and on the offensive side. Updates all year, y'all. Let's go.